Hey fuckers, Young right here. All right, so today's video is gonna be very serious. All right, this is not gonna be a hate video. This is just gonna be me spitting straight facts. All right, believe what you wanna believe. And if you don't agree with me, just follow me. I don't really care. Okay, I'd rather have educated people on my channel. But I know there's gonna be narrow minded and ignorant people out there. But, but hear me out first, all right? Just give me a chance to explain to you how I feel about this, okay? Like I said in the beginning, this is not a hate video. Um, but I do have my own gripes about Nam the Beast, and I will explain right now. I used to like you, bro. I, I will give you that out there. I, I found you when you were at about 20,000 subscribers, okay? Uh, that's how far back that, you know, I've known you for, okay? Or, or known of you, okay? And I also understand that he wants to, you know, have his own business and all that. But the only problem that I have is that using the name of the military for his business agenda or clickbait on YouTube. For example, the $500,000 Rolls Royce has nothing to do with the Army or the Navy. You know, he's using the military as a way to get views. And that's how I feel. And none of the videos, a lot of times, have anything to do with the military at all. The first topic that I want to go over is the reality, okay, of the military in general, okay? Something that is seldom talked about, in my opinion, on most military channels and with channels like Nava, that's super huge. Because he makes the military look like this happy place, which is not. It's serious business. Okay, but hear me out. Do you have any idea? Do any of you guys have any idea, including Nava the Beast, about the political climate that the US is involved in? Not just within the US, but overseas. But you still want to instill this false motivation of joining the military versus teaching them how to be self-sufficient, independent, and strong that they don't need anybody else to go through life. Instead, they rely on people like us and you for motivation. They, their whole lives is consisted of your guys' of his motivation, maybe even mine, which is a bad thing. You can't rely on people's motivation. You have to be self-sufficient and be independent on this. It's your life. You have to be independent. And with all this false info about the military, it's not this cookie cut or bull crap, you know, boss to walls, motivation, and work hard and you'll get there. The reason why I bring this up is because, so there's something in a sociological research-based standpoint called, there's two terms that I'm going to go over. There's, there's conflict perspective and social threats. And I'm not, I'm not saying that he's aware of this and that he's doing this, okay? I'm just saying that he is doing this unconsciously, possibly, okay? This is used to research a lot of, this, a lot of CEOs, the crimes committed by CEOs and by large corporations, white-collar crimes, and even the government in itself, okay? So let's go over um, conflict perspective. A conflict perspective basically states that that society is based on primarily competing groups, right so it keeps basically they use a social threat way of defining things to keep a certain group in the same category and have laws or restrictions or even brainwashing techniques to keep them in a specific place in society that way they can stay in power and they can move up while these people who are considered oppressed or lied to they stay in the same place right and that's why i bring up the false motivation and bullcrap because in my previous videos i always say hey don't be so freaking caught up in this false motivation and bullcrap because a lot of this stuff is gonna go away and a lot of you guys are young i guess it but you can't rely on that and that's what he's trying to instill in you that, that's why i have a big problem with it all you care about is the whole perspective of being rich and being a businessman and instilling motivation for these kids in order for you to get, have personal game look at the definition of corruption basically screwing other people over for personal gains and that's how i see it and here he wants to write a book about himself you know like he's chesty polar or something if you guys don't know who chesty polar look him up he's basically the most decorated marine who saved a bunch of marines you know and he wants to make a story about himself when there's more important historical Marines that went down in history. You know, I, I just have a problem with that because you can just tell your story. You can document it. This is why a YouTube channel is for. It's for you to tell your story. But why do you have to make money and sell this all these things to your subscribers knowing that they have a weakness that you can exploit and take advantage of it because they need motivation because uh, unfortunately a lot of these guys don't come the fam from the families that we come from you know a lot of these guys don't have any guidance in life a lot of these guys are having trouble in life you know so the only hope they have is watching people like you but at the same time why are we selling to these people who need help you're exploiting a weakness. You have to look at this from a sociological standpoint, research-based standpoint. You want to write a book, but at the same time, it's like you don't read books. You know, you don't understand like the society that we're in, the, the issues that the that society is in. 
Let's take the gold mining era in the 1800s, right? I'm not, I don't know about the technical term, right? When people were coming here to mine gold in America, they were basically taught that, hey, if you are here to mine gold and you work hard and you work your butt off, you're going to get rich, right? That's what they wanted them to think. That's what the people who were selling the tools to mine gold were thinking because it gave them profit. The people who got rich in that, in that time frame in our history were not the people mining gold. It was the people who were selling the tools to mine gold. My analogy here is people want to get fit. They want to work out. Why not just to make why not just make a bunch of videos about working out and selling selling products and workout advice? They're like the people who were the workers mining gold while the people were selling the tools for them to mine gold. In, in this case, you were selling supplements and workout advice and whatnot to people who need the advice. It's just like the people who needed to mine gold and make money to support their family and also need help. Just like how the people need help to join the Marine Corps and, and thinking that would be a better life for them. Just like how the miners thought mining gold would be a better life for them. But little did they know, the safety regulations were not there. A lot of miners were freaking dying. They were being worked to death. They are being blasted by dynamite. They are freaking dying from the mine collapses just how like if they were to join the freaking military is nothing like they expected i mean bro i got friends in the military thinking that i'll get a better life and end up wanting to clock themselves out and some freaking people do clock themselves out because they thought the military was something for them because they fell for this false motivation bull crap that they see online and i actually have police come to me saying yeah i felt fucking lied to but because all the crap that i was seeing online you know from now the beast low-key this isn't really it so you think you're being a good influence but reality is you're not you're leading these people to believe in a reality that's not there a true leader would look out for his or her marines or his or her own people and wanting the best for them instead of selling them these things to quote-unquote improve their lifestyle you should have been a mentor not a businessman because if you're going to be a businessman you should have used other tactics and not use the military in the name of your business to sell your products because all you're doing is it's, it's screwing people over. Because guess what? The reality is that people die in this damn organization. People will die. One of my friends died. My other friend got blown the fuck up. But do you talk about this? Do you understand the political climate that's, that the U.S. is involved in? In the Middle East? And even in South America and Africa? It's it's all over the place. It's not just this cookie cutter motivational bullcrap. It's a bigger picture than just motivation. It's a bigger picture than propaganda. It just, this is all a sales tactics. You know how I know? My father is a businessman. He's a very successful businessman. And I see the, ex the exact thing that you're doing to the future of this country. Except my dad was just doing to the people that didn't really matter for the future of this country. For not, and not join the military. They're not, they weren't going to join the military. All these people, they're, just like, they're going to join the military. And you know what? They're going to go in and understand this is not what they wanted. And they'll become freaking shitbags and screw other people over. And this could be a damn chain reaction. And that is not how I want the military to be. Maybe you don't know this. I, nothing against admin marines or whatever, right? But at the same time, stay in your lane. Don't be preaching about the military like you know what it is. Is. I don't care if you're active duty. I don't even care if you're a freaking sergeant. I don't care. I see PFCs and Lance Corporals with a stack of ribbons. Combat action, Purple Heart. Those of you who are narrow minded and only answer to infantry marines active duty, right? I'm just a poke. I don't know anything better. I have infantry marine buddies who will vouch for me and will spit some game and spit some knowledge on this topic because I know I'm not the only one feeling this way. I know I'm not. Now, this is for you, man. You see the frustration that you feel when people call you out like this when JT Suits did and now I'm calling you out. Just think about the frustration that people feel when they feel that they've been lied to in joining the military. It's not just work hard, go get it, and you'll achieve it. It's not like that. You need a strategy, you need a plan. This is why people end up committing crimes. This is why people end up being shit bad because none of the stuff that they're doing is working out. But because they're freaking listening to people like you and they end up screwing up the whole career. It's not this cookie cutter bull crap. There's a lot of freaking issues around the world. But at the end of the day, right? Stay hungry, stay humble, right? And I'm just a hater. And none of y'all will listen at the end anyways. Unsubscribe if you disagree with what I say. Because I am trying to preach about the freaking reality of the military. It's not this happy place.